All right, so now we are moving out of our size and scope category and we're moving into the purpose category. Okay, what is the purpose of this business in the first place? Depending on what that is, we can categorize different types of businesses based upon that. Okay, so the first subcategory and purpose is for-profit businesses and non-profit businesses. Okay, so this is something that we've probably seen before. Um, you know, nonprofits and for-profits generally are in the news, um, but I want to make sure that we have a strong understanding of what this is. A for-profit business, it's sort of um, self-explanatory, their purpose is to make a profit. That is why they're in business. Okay, that's why they're operating and, and selling the, the products that they're selling. Okay, it's important to remember that profit is equal to our sales minus our expenses. So the amount of money that we're bringing in from selling products less the amount of money that we have to spend in order to make and sell those products. Okay, that is profit. Now let's contrast that against nonprofit businesses. Okay, the money earned in a nonprofit business is used to fund a cause or a mission. Okay, nonprofits have a purpose. Okay, they want to do some sort of good within society or promote some sort of view. Okay, that's their cause or their mission. They're not in it just to seek a profit. They really just want to achieve whatever their cause is or their mission. And their cause isn't to make a profit. Okay, now I want to be very clear here, nonprofits still make money and still have expenses. Okay, they still make money and they still have expenses. It, the difference though is that the, the money, okay, and this is the last bullet, point, last bullet point on the slide, that extra money goes to supporting the business's mission, okay, whatever they're trying to achieve. So an example I have up here is the Boy and Girl Scouts of America or the American Red Cross. Well, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, their, their goal is to um, promote activities for young men and women within society. They want to get them outdoors and they want to have them helping their, their society. That's the ultimate goal of the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts. It's not to make money, it's to help children. Okay, so any money that they have left over after they, they have their revenues and their expenses goes to, to funding those those missions or those causes, okay? But let's think about the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts. Girl Scouts is a clear example. Every spring, the Girl Scouts, they come around and they sell cookies, okay? Well, that's money that they're bringing in. But then the Girl Scouts have to pay for those boxes of cookies. Well, that, those are their expenses. So the money that's left over after they sell all their cookies and pay for all of their cookies goes to funding whatever the Girl Scouts are gonna do for the, the upcoming year, okay? So that's the difference between for-profit businesses and non-profit businesses. All right, so within our category of purpose, we have another subcategory, public versus private. Okay, so when we look at public sector um, businesses or agencies, the main um, point with public sector is it's the government that is financing the agency. The government is giving money towards this, um, this business or this operation or this agency, okay? It's the government, okay? But let's think about it. How does the government get its money? The government collects money through taxes, okay? So the money that workers pay um, to the government ultimately goes to funding these public sector agencies. Okay, so the examples would be schools, okay? Schools collect money through taxes, okay? And they provide education to students libraries, the U.S. military, the government funds these types of organizations. Okay, that makes them public sector. It operates as a business, but its ultimate goal is not to try to make a profit. The main purpose is to provide a service to the public. So if we use schools, well, their main um, purpose is to educate children, library, to encourage literacy and encourage people to read, the U.S. military, to protect our country. The goal isn't to just make money, it's to provide some sort of um, service to the public, okay? The public sector is huge. They purchase one third of all products, okay? One third of all products, 33% of products sold in the United States each year, okay? It is a huge part of our free enterprise system. Okay, so that's the public sector. Now let's compare that to the private sector. Well, it's pretty simple. If public sector is government financed agencies, 
the private sector is businesses not associated with the government. The government doesn't give them money in order to run their business. Okay, so that's the difference between public sector and private sector.